is just in case but all my mozzie spray on it's absolutely tons of them everywhere <laughs> but in any way I'm here it's quarter past six at night traffic wasn't too bad um, the traffic going southbound was a nightmare because there was a crash on the A1 so hopefully nobody's been hurt too much Ooh, pardon me I hopefully nobody's been hurt too much but the tailback was kind of bit like but anyway enough looking at my ugly mug let's have a look even look at the view just down there man oh it's, it's stunning here you know I love it I love it already this is my second adventure here the last time I went up through the middle of the woods with a very steep uh, bank got up the top I had me my um, me bivy bag where is and it had been pouring down with rain for about three or four days um, so the ground was absolutely sodden I was just proper winging it didn't have a clue where I was, where I was going or anything I was putting little X's on the ground every time I took a turn just so I wouldn't get lost um, this time I'm a bit more prepared been looking at the map and I've got a guidebook map thing as well that tells us where to go so happy days got plenty of supplies as you can see nice rel relatively light pack at 19 was it 19 pounds or 19 kilo i can't remember what the weight was now anyway that was at the beginning of the, the video but here we go onwards and upwards i think it was uh 420 i was only i'm going to reach up the top end so Let's see how it goes, eh? Right. Right, so in any way, looking at the weather forecast for tonight, we've got severe thunder and lightning storms coming for about one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. And that's going to go on for a few hours. So, um, you got to feel like a puff already. Anyway, right. I am. Um, I've never proofed my tent like I said I was going to. I thought, nah, let's test it. See what state when it first comes. And then if it, if it leaks, well, that gunny's going to get a little bit wet. It's not going to pour in, is it? And then if it does leak, then I know where to fix it. Um. Other than that, that's it really. So, a little bit of height already. I haven't even walked very far, but you know. Well, it's a warm day. I'm absolutely sweating already. What? I've just seen an old girl walking her dogs. Must have been about 70 year old. Tell you what, she looks fit as a lot. I was, I was hanging up my backside coming up that hill and all. <laughs> but aye, a bit of a, an old brick wall going up there. Um, I'm going to be heading up there. Um, I've got to come down here and then wang a sharp left up through. I think we'll cut across some moorlands. Um, Oh, I think it's all marked out on posts and anyway, red arrows I'm following. So, total different area to where I come to the last time. That looks like a nice little area to do a uh, bit of a hammock camp in there, like. Looks reasonably flat on the top there, open. Nice. Oh. Yeah. And go right down to the edge then, get a nice view of the the valley down below happy days 
Yeah, nice and peaceful. What else could you be doing on a Tuesday night? Uh, I think it said it was about 26 degrees when I was coming up in the car. It definitely feels warm. It definitely is. Right, I've just walked down past our last, thinking I was talking to you, and I never pressed the lemon record. Anyway, there's another fork in the road there. It's a big massive pile of wood. All I was saying was that um, that would be brilliant, that down at Camp Bob. We could build loads of stuff with that. That would be absolutely mint. But I ain't carrying that down. <laughs> Got no chance. No chance. Right. Anyway, tiny little slope to go up. Bring us back later on. Right, can into a bit of a clearing now. I think that's where I'm heading, up the top there. Got this bit all fenced off. Don't know why. There's a sign back there, but I couldn't be bothered to read it. Like. But yeah, if that's where I'm heading. There's going to be some nice views from up there. Definitely. I can't remember how far this walk was. There's a few a few mile, not far. Um, I'll just have a look in my book. Let's see, page 17. Right, so basically that's the map. Alright. And I think this is the bit that we're going through now. So I haven't got very far to go before I start hitting where I want to be. So I want to stop up at the high point. So I've come from the car park there, up and around. And I'm just going down this bit now. Sorry about the fingers being in the way and that. And that's where I'm going to have a look for somewhere to stop. Uh, that one or the next one across. But number four is the highest. So, we'll see. Right, I'll bring you back when I get a bit further along. Right, I'm wanging a sharp left here. And it looks like I'm zigzagging myself up this little pathway. All the way up to the top. Bump, up that way, I think. Let's see. I'll bring you along for a little bit until I, until I start coughing, spluttering, and wheezing. <laughs> but I, a nice, a nice sunny day. And apparently, you get rewarded up the top end by a nice, a nice, lovely view over the Cheviot Hills. Hey, oh, we shall see. Obviously this must be the bit of the footpath. Right, I'll watch me foot in here. Whoop. 
Tiri 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 Oh that's handy A seat <laughs> Oh there's another one of them a bit further up <laughs> Hey dear Hey I was going to do one of them things where you put the camera up, come up back down and then walk up to it, but nah. Well, nah, that game, didn't we? You've still got to do double the walk that you do. So, there's no point. Yeah, just so I can walk past my camera. All I've got to do is that. Hello, everybody. I'm climbing up a hill. Don't you know that? Anyway, look at this instead of me, yeah. Look, getting some nice views already. Oh, what a glorious night. Glory, glory, glory. Hey, right. I bring his back when we get to the top. Right, nearly at the top. Nearly there. It's about 100 yards to go. Happy days. Oh, just walked past a couple of lads out walking. Uh, oh. First people I've seen apart from the old girl. Oh, happy days, like. Find yourself a nice little spot. It's a bit, a bit breezy up here. But there you go, there's the, I think that's the Cheviot Hills in front over there. Oh, yeah. Is. So, we're up here. Mm. Got the sun to me back, obviously facing the camera. Um, so, sunset's going to be nice. It's nice and clear. Hopefully, we'll get a nice time lapse on that tonight. And we just need to find somewhere to park our backside and go for a little walk. Find a nice little spot. So we've got a little border over here. I think it says what to follow that on the in the book. So I think the right direction to go. So have a look and see what it says. And anyway, enough of looking at me. Look at that. No cycling permitted. Conservation area. Oh, up here. Welcome to Simon Side Hills. So I'm standing at the lowest point between Simon Side, which is 430 metres, and Tossin Hill, which is 444 metres. This track leads to Simon Side, Simon Side itself. So there you go. That's all the air, uh, the map, all the hills. And I'm here. So, and that's where I'm heading. So, we're heading up there. That looks like a canny little walk. We'll have a walk up in any way because we're here. And then if I have to drop back down and just pitch up somewhere along the bottom there, then happy days. But you never know. We may find somewhere nice up the top here. I know we've got a bit of a storm coming, but part of the journey, isn't it? Lovely. 
Lovely. We're going up here, look. Yeah, I tell you what's any good for me, bad knee this. But look at the rewards. And it's just gonna get better. people cycling again wouldn't want to bring the bike up here bloody Nora I'm on fitness out I've only got 19 is it 19 kilos 19, 19 kilos on my back and I'm absolutely I'm absolutely chin strapped god in my knee <laughs> Need to strap that up on the next one. I need to start get myself out walking, get myself fitter. But looks like I'm at the top. Happy days. I think I found a place to camp over there. That looks nice. See the boulders there? There's a bit of a ledge on there. So I'll walk across to that. I'll see because I want a view. But I think that'll give us a view down that way in any way. And that'll give us protection from the wind yeah so happy days but this, I'm, I'm just wondering if this is the trick point this is the highest point so let's go up might as well go and do the business while i'm here oh. Oh, look at that there. That'd be a belt, a little bivy area. Hmm, don't think we tend to fit there. I'm positive Damien stayed there before, the fellow wanderer. I'm positive. But that gives you a belt of view, that like. And the wind will stop hitting you. But yeah. Maybe another bit just down there where I bit to stop. I'll we'll have a look. But yeah, this looks like the high point. I'm just gonna put my tripod on while I make a fool of myself. <laughs> Staggering up here. But look at them views man. Alright, see I'll achieve it. If you want us to start pointing out the names of hills on the tops and all the different bits, you've got no chance. Because I didn't know them. In any way, put you there. The steer. Is that what people are meant to do? I oh, don't even know. Watch me fall. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the little edge. We'll have a look at down here, look. Oh, look at this little area here. 
down there. I don't think it's suitable for a tent like. Ah, damn. Now, definitely a bivy bog area, isn't it? The wind's quite strong there. Um, but I could have my tent facing away from that. Well, let's have a look here. Because earlier on I was yapping away to myself and uh, I didn't press record so I missed out part of my walk. Yeah, but I'm not going too near the edge because I'm a bit of a clumsy klutz like. And the last thing I want to do is fall down the bottom of there because I'll just spoil the deer. Them two lads on the bike there, look. All that track there going through all that woodland. I think it'd just disappear anyway, yeah, couldn't you? All the midges flying around. But let's have a look for somewhere to stop. I think over that other side might be good, like if I was bivy bagging it, I would have just I would have just lay there. But somehow I don't think so. Not my tent, my tent not fitting there like. Right, let's go and back along here. Right, excuse the wind. Alright. Um obviously this footpath is the path you're supposed to follow on the route um to do the circular. So I'm going to have a look over there, see what it's like for camping. As you can see, we're a bit high up. So if, that's, if that storm comes in the night, the winds will pick up a bit. Um, never, never been up here before, like, so I didn't want to risk it too much. But I'm sure I'll find somewhere nice to toss. And I think over there will be ideal, like. I get a nice sunset and a nice sunrise. But, yeah. There's me little red arrows that tells you that I'm on the right route. Happy days. Yeah, I think I'll have a look around here for a place to stop. It's nice views anywhere and anyway. So it's just a case of being out, isn't it? And enjoying what we've got. Hi, so in any way. Right. Let's get up to this bit. I got all the water there now. Aye. Right. right, what we got up here. I want to try and find somewhere to stop soon. Aha! Oh! Ah. The ladybird. Just nearly stood on you, missus. Oh, well, obviously, somebody stopped here. Look. And left the water but do you know what could be a cunning plan to dosh here and then I've got that to look at but I really want to see the hills so that's an option that's option one I'll come back and get that water bottle um because I may be going back there for the sleep it's right next to the path, but I don't give it, don't give a damn. Might be something better up here. Not bad, not bad. 
Hey, look at this, another little pile of stones to jump on. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the yellow brick road here. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. La 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 la. Follow the yellow brick road. Oh, Dorothy, where are you going home? I don't know. Where am I going home? Never, never. Yeah, well, enough of the silly talk there. Eh? Reet. Yeah, man. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Eh, uh, seeing as this is what I say, I know you use a lot that climb hills and mountains. You just go up and touch all the the trig point areas, is that what you call them? Trig points. Eh? Hey ho, here we go. That's a nice view as well, isn't it? Nice view. A couple of more walkers there, is that the bakers? Eh, possibly the bakers. I mean, not sure. I don't know why I'm talking stupid for. I think it's because I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm happy. I've got some amazing views here. Like, um, yeah. But I still need somewhere to doss. Still need somewhere to doss. There's another good little spot for a uh, for a bivy. Just move a few stones. Yeah. Right. So downhill again. I like that little area there. It's like a little patch. Looks like it could be a little area to, to sleep. Uh, the wind's coming straight ahead of us, like, but we'll see what it's like when we get down there. Um, still gonna get all that nice view there. So, yeah. It's looking good. Looking good. Must have took a long time to do these paths, like obviously they must have got all this brick all helicoptered up. It would be a nightmare doing it in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> but yeah, hats off to the people that done it, made it more accessible for people like myself. Oh just can't can't believe the views up here, like absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm still walking. Still walking. Same inside hill there. God knows what this one is. But I better have somewhere to doss. <laughs> Cause that is amazing view that. And that sun's gonna come right the way down over that. So I'm hoping and praying, fingers crossed, there's somewhere nice to stop along here. Cause this has got a beautiful vantage point. You got all the woodlands down in the valley there. You got the village over there. I'm not sure what that is. Might be Rothbury. Ah, oh, hard to think now. I'd have to get a map out and have a look. No, I haven't got a map. I've got a guidebook. So I'm not one of these type of people that go out and knows the name of all the hills. Hats off to the people that do do that though. Um, first time I've been up here. And I'm sure it won't be my last. Um, I'm enjoying the walk. I'm enjoying the scenery. Uh, the weather's the weather's amazing. I'm getting a bit thirsty now. 
lips are a bit in parched and being a bit sticky. Oh, uh, definitely going to be stopping up here for a drink regardless. But this is a nice spot. This nice spot. I just hope there's a nice place to pitch my tent. I'll have a good look. I'm getting attacked by flies. Go away. But yeah, and anyway, enough of my mug. I've got a fly. I'm following this for two mile. <laughs> but I. Bush. Let's just stop and admire that for a minute. I need to get my camera set up on time lapse. Get a nice, nice area to stop. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Come on. Fingers crossed. It's a nice spot somewhere. Come on. Be nice to me. There's a little footpath going down there. So it looks like people have been down there before. So let's go and have a little adventure and see. Come on, be a lovely little area. Oh my knee, my knee, my knee. Look at wasp. Do you know what? I could be in luck here, you know. I could be in luck. Oh yes. Do you know what? That's going to be ideal. Right, I'm Dawson here. This is an amazing view. I'm going to make sure my tent squeezes into it. Let's get me pack off. Bring us back. Right, good evening everybody. Right, it's nine o'clock. I haven't even got my tea on. All set up. I'll, uh, I'll show you around. All right, I'm just sitting admiring this view at the minute. As you can see, the sunset's coming. I've got my tent set up. I've got my little kitchen area set up. <laughs> and my cooker down there, because I'm going to have a late tea. The midges are going ballistic. But as you can see, I've got a nice bit of rock formation here in front of us. Oh, I'd probably end up sitting on there if I had a mat. Um, right, so, bit of a mess over there because I'm getting my tea prepped in a minute and start cooking. Uh, I've got two cans of lager. Actually, I'm going to crack one open soon. Now, here's I'm finding loads of rubbish. Look at this. Look at all that rubbish down there. Someone's had a camp here. See that? Someone's had a camp here and they've dumped all the rubbish there. Guess what? Lundy, Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft has got a bin bag. So guess what I'll be doing tomorrow? Picking everybody else's shite up. Now it is. It's disgusting. There's bits everywhere. I think I'll clean it up now, actually. Well, just before, after I've showed you around. And anyway, Lanchy one. It's a little tiny bit of a slope coming this direction. All right. But... Bag fits in there, perfect. All right, so I've just got my sleeping bag and my roll mat in there. A couple of bits, I've got a little waterproof jacket in there and uh, my softy jacket in there at the minute because I don't think I'm going to need it. It's red as I've got my little trout case I need to go for poo poo. All right, I've got my GoPro Hero 7 Black on there, doing a nice time lapse for you with this. But look at this. This is all mine. All mine, mine, mine tonight. Not a soul in sight. I've seen a couple of bikers going down there before. I think it was the same ones I've seen coming along here. And there's a little footpath just through the woods there. You can just see it. And that's where it comes. I think that's where I'm heading back to the car park tomorrow. But look at that sunset over there, man. Beautiful. Hope my time lapse works out well. But in any rate, let's head back over to the lounge. 
Um, I wish I had a long sleeve top with us. I'm going to put that on soon. Um, yeah. I think it is, I'm just going to get you strategically placed in between my knees. It might be a bit wonky, the camera, so let's just twist that a bit. It's still a bit wonky. There we have it. So, a can of Stella. Dave Outdoors, watching this mate. This is what I drink when I come away. Sometimes I bring a hip flask with some Jack Daniels um, f fire, which is like a bourbon. Or I bring some Baileys to put in a hot chocolate. Um, that's about it really. I don't bring many cans with us. Like I say, I'm out tonight. I've got two cans of lager. It's nine o'clock at night. I think I, I'm, I think I'm due one. Um, I'm really glad I walked all the way along here because I think I picked the best place. Well, if, if the best place I could find. Oh, do you know what it is? Just that little bit of froth tasted nice. But aye, it's midgy heaven like. Midgy heaven. And anyway, Cheers everyone. Cheers Simon Side Hills. Nice to finally meet you. Oh. Sorry I had to do that. Oh hey. That was so refreshing. So refreshing. But anyway, enough of me. Look at that. Look at that. I've got some brilliant photographs as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Right, well, as you can see, the sun's nearly, the sun's starting to disappear now. So we should be getting this on me uh, time lapse. Fingers crossed. Anyway, that's the direction that I came, all the way along that path there, up the top. Down through up here. I came from down there, walked all the way along through all the woodland, up the hill, through the moss up there, and then up and over to here. And then all I've got to do tomorrow is walk down there to the bottom, along the track, all the way along that track, and then I think it. I've just realised where I am. That's the track that I came near to coming up when I was here this, the first time I come. That track there leads us back down to the car park. Oh my god. I looked at this as well. Oh, I'm devastated. Anyway, but I'm here now and anyway. I've put this jacket on because the mozzies, I do mean that, were in the flies. Um, right, so, and anyway, I'm nearly finished my first can. I'm gonna get some food done because time's getting on and when you're out camping it's nice to get a f uh, 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 uh. I just got memorized by the the sun going down there I'll turn it to that while I'm talking is um yeah it's nice to go to bed with a nice full belly I've been sitting here watching that it is absolutely beautiful I just hope the camera gives it justice that it's uh, recording on. And it's so still, so peaceful. No winds. I'm I'm positive Damien, the fell wanderer, has has dosed here before. I'm absolutely positive. But what a lush little spot. Absolutely belter. But anyway, we'll do some rain tonight. It's going to lash down, there's going to be thunderstorms, lightning. So if it is, I've got a nice area for a show. Yeah. The sun's set over the Cheviot Hills, look. As it finally disappears. Beautiful. And anyway, you're going to see that on the time lapse. <laughs> right, food time. So, what we're going to have is one of these big pans out, courtesy of my mate Dave. Yep. 
Right. What I'll do is I'll switch the camera off. Get my cell set. Right then, so I think the camera can see what I'm doing. So anyway, I've got loads of terrazzos and onions and all that in here. Basically what I'm going to do is... I can't believe what I've just done before. I've only went and stabbed my bloody finger with my knife opening up my noodles. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to fry this off. Best we can. I might as well sit down and do it. And while I'm doing that, put the lid back on this. That can go up there out the way. I need some water. And I've got me oh, oh get back there. Never mind, let the drive. So Mess tins on the go. A long time since I used one of these. I tell you what, the midges are rife around here. Like I've had to put this top on. Oh, let's bring you a little bit closer. So we've got terrazzo, we've got onions, we've got peppers, we've got a slidey table. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to let that all fry off. I'm looking for my cup, which I've got here. And my noodles. Yeah, I tell you what, my finger's starting to sting a bit now. Let's put the, I wish these bloody midges would bugger off. I'll be getting that face thing on soon if they keep on errors. Anyway. Take that off there so it doesn't knock the fire. Ah, this one's definitely going to do no like. So, what we'll do is we'll soak them a bit. That should be enough, more than enough. Some rubbish. Oh, there's a few bits of food there, but I'm sure the animals will get that. Put me rubbish up there because I need to pick all that rubbish that's down there as well. Right, look at that. Lovely. Now yeah, I'm going to switch off for a bit because I feel like the camera's getting in my way and me cooking a bit and I'll bring it back in a bit. Right, so in any way, tea's on the go. So what I've done is I've fried off all the, uh, the, the sausage, sausage and that to the terrazzo and all the um, peppers and onions. I've boiled some noodles up in here, mixed in this, the chicken, uh, the curry powder with that. Added it to this, so all the flavors will mix together. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pour this bit of milk, a uh, bit of milk, bit of, um, sorry, I have cameras all over the place, so I'm doing everything with both the hands. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna get this egg I'm going to pour that on. I'll just put that bottle down there for now. And then I'm just going to let that mix itself in and start cooking. 
they say it's starting to form soon. I've done this before, it tastes absolutely lush, like all the flavours just mixed together. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll try and, uh, I'll just pause this for a second, I'll do this. Right, believe it or not, it doesn't look very appetising, but it is. It's really nice because all the all the different flavours and that. Um, obviously, it smells nice as well. Um, I mean, you can see all these mozzies, but there's tons of them. Like, well, not mozzies, midges. They're little pesky things. Oh, oh I'm just, I didn't mean that we're in. I just prop our harassers. Many ways. That's my food done. So turn that off. I'll bring my food over. Got my phone there, right. Two seconds. Right, as you can see, I've got an absolutely amazing view now. And I'm gonna sit ya. I'm still drinking my first can of can of Stella. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy this, enjoy me tea. I've just had to spray myself again with some uh, midgy spray, mozzy spray. I'm getting et to bits, so I'm going to eat my food and then I'm going to have to put that mask thing on. Um, Just need to remember where I've put it, because I'm getting et alive, like, right? So I'm going to have my tea, see you soon. Well as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit dark now. <coughs> I've, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I can't manage to eat it all. Um, I'm stuffed. I'm still drinking the first can. I've got a little sip left to go. Um, I'm just busy downloading a preview for you to watch. So. If you're watching this now, I hope you enjoyed the preview. Um, it'll be on your screens very soon. Like, it's Tuesday night, so it'll be Tuesday night it comes on. <laughs> I'll not get this done until about Thursday, Friday, or even Saturday now. Uh, back to work on Wednesday night, so I'll have a lot to do. Um, I've, I'm Like I say, I'm sitting here, I've got my hood up, I've got a hat on, I've got this up here. Um, obviously I've got my torch there as well already, just so I know where it is when it gets dark. Um, I've got no music on whatsoever, no lights, um, just proper enjoying it, listening to all the different noises in the background. I've got bats flying over the top of my head and that. Um, let's see if I can catch some later. I'm going to have a little walk over to that bit over there before it gets too dark and we stand up and we'll have a look at the area down below in a minute um, I'm just going to finish this off but still an amazing view at this time of night I don't know what time it is now but what I do know I need to get my head torch on I need to go down to there where that rubbish is and pick that up and put it in this bin bag you'll not see it because it's black obviously and uh, my scraps I'll hide over the edge food wise that'll get it by hang on more animal noise but I, I'll put that can there hey, I can't believe this Look at this man, so somebody's come up and had some Budweiser, so they've carried it all up. I kind of find any bottles of cans, so why, why hide all your card away? Cereal bars, there's even a flipping cushion man. That has come from down there in that little hole. That is absolutely outrageous, you know what I mean? You've brought a cushion from home, whoever you are. And I think you are disgraceful. If you are watching my channel, please, I, I don't think you would be in any way. It's not that famous. 
But if you saw and you're seeing this, unsubscribe because you're disgraceful. Um, so bring a flipping bin bag, put your rubbish in, carry it out with you. You know what I mean? Absolutely bloody ridiculous. But well, I'm going to put it in that bin bag and I'm going to wash my hands. Right, well, I'm in. But I'm not in your dust bag. It's absolutely red us. I just had to get rid of about four or five flies that made their way in when I had my light on. So, obviously, now I'm lying down properly. I can feel that I'm on a slight slope to the left. And I must have a tiny grass mound right underneath the small of my back. So, at any rate, it's uh, half past 11. It's warm. It's, uh, I don't feel like the tent is up as good as what it was when I done it the first time. Obviously, because of the lay of the land. Um, but I'm out of the elements if it if the weather turns for the worst the night. That's how it is. There's plenty of room, you know. Um, even light lying it at an angle. Oh, with my feet that way and my head this way. I've got plenty, plenty headroom. The net's a little bit floppy like. 